Hello and welcome to our projects in MongoDB Eduonics course. So I just want to take a couple minutes and tell you about what's included in this course. So first of all, what is MongoDB? It's an extremely popular and powerful NoSQL document database system. It's easy to scale and it can be used with just about any programming platform. It stores data in JSON-like documents inside of a collection rather than in a table like a traditional relational database. Mongo and SQL are also much more flexible and easier to scale than relational databases. Now in this course you'll be learning many different technologies by building 12 different projects from scratch using various languages and frameworks all using MongoDB to store data. So we'll have 12 sections in total, also 12 projects. Each section will have 6 to 12 lectures in it. Each lecture will have 1 to 3 videos and project files will be included in every lecture along with some basic quizzes. So what you should know before taking this course, you should know HTML and CSS, not so much CSS but definitely HTML. You should know some basic JavaScript because we'll be working with a lot of different JavaScript uh, and also JSON syntax. Okay, If you don't know JSON, you'll still be able to get by, uh, but I would suggest brushing up on it before taking this course. You should also know what a database is, not exactly how it functions and how to work with it, but just kind of understand what it is uh, in a general way of speaking. So here are some of the technologies that we'll be using, obviously MongoDB, uh, JSON, Beeson, which is um, kind of a superset of JSON. That's how MongoDB stores objects. Um, it's basically JSON with some added data types. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, We'll use a little bit of jQuery, um, Node.js, which is JavaScript on the server, Express, which is a Node.js web framework, Angular, which is a client-side framework, also Angular 2, Meteor, which is a full-stack JavaScript framework. We'll also be working with the mean stack, which is MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node, and also REST, RESTful APIs, and HTTP. We'll also have one project that uses Ruby on Rails, which is a, a Ruby language framework. We'll also take a look at Keystone.js, which is a Node CMS system, and Socket.io, which is a, um, a group of packages that take advantage of WebSockets and real-time programming. All right, so that's basically what we'll be getting into in this course. So it's not just MongoDB. There's a whole bunch of other technologies that you'll be learning as well. Alright, so hopefully I will see you in the next video.